God will not allow you to dream what you cannot produce. That's why deep in you there's a quiet scream to be great. And right. that scream is legitimate. Well, Hey guys, in this video, I wanted to share something I put together about two years ago. It's a video that barely anybody's seen because my channel was very small, but I think it's a powerful message. It's motivational and it's inspirational. It's from a great speaker, the late Dr. Miles Monroe. I kind of incorporated a couple different film clips in what I feel is a very important message. So I think you guys should listen to it. I want to share it with you. Coming into the new year, uh, this could be life-changing, right? This is pretty deep stuff. And speaking of um, coming into the new year, obviously health is really important. Mental health, physical health. So I do want to thank my sponsor, Let's Get Checked, where you could do all these kind of tests to make sure your health is on track. Do all these different tests in the convenience of your own home. Go to trylgc.com forward slash VS25 for 25% off of any of these tests. Get your cholesterol checked, hormones checked, vitamins checked, and a whole lot more. You should definitely check out that site. If you guys aren't going to your doctor, you're getting a physical, you have to at least get this stuff tested at home. So anyway, check that out, link in the description below. And now let's get to this, I call it food and nourishment for the soul. Why am I here? Why was I conceived? Why was I born? You were not created just to make a living until you discover that purpose for which you was created, you will never be fulfilled, never. You'll be frustrated, disillusioned, tired, disgruntled, not knowing why you're waking up on Monday mornings. So we go to work every morning, stuck in traffic, get mad, go to the same job we hate, do the same work we hate to do, go back home to a house we can't sleep in, watch the news every night that depresses us, play our ball games, and then wake up the next morning, go through it again, and do it till we're 65, and then they fire us and give us a rocking chair and call it retirement. This is not life. Well, you're right. I hit it. Why? Need it. And after you pay the mortgage off, you're too old to enjoy the house. What a frustration. What is your true ability? What is your destiny? What is your sense of destination? What is your address for the future? What are you born to accomplish? How do you know when you're finished? The average person doesn't. So they just retire and rot. Senality and paralysis sets in. They have no destination for their lives. They live just to retire. This is frustration. This is, you were not born just to retire. You were not born just to keep a budget going and to keep a mortgage payment. You're more important than paying light bills until you die. What happened? I'm celebrating, Rob. Why? I retired. Retired? <laughs> because we do not know when we will die, we get to think of life as an inexhaustible well. And yet everything happens only a certain number of times, and a very small number, really. How many more times will you remember a certain afternoon of your childhood, an afternoon that is so deeply a part of your being that you can't even conceive of your life without it, perhaps four or five times more, perhaps not even that. How many more times will you watch the full moon rise? Perhaps 20, and yet it all seems limitless. We got more to do, we got No one can live beyond the limits of their belief. Attitude is a product of what? Belief. When your belief system changes, your entire life transforms. Your life is what you think it should be. Whatever you believe about yourself, that's what you will be and always be. So if you want to change yourself, you got to change the way you think about yourself. I know this sounds like you heard it before, but you didn't. I'm telling you. Why do you think you exist? Stop being an employee just paying bills and keeping the mortgage going and you become someone who realized I was supposed to make a contribution to the world before I die. There's a big difference between the two ways of thinking. Live to make a difference. Transform from a follower to a leader 
is something happens inside of you that makes your belief system change. Take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. An army of sheep led by a lion will always defeat an army of lions led by a sheep. A leader develops this or discovers this, this awareness that they were supposed to play a role in humanity. Every one of you were born to do that. But 90% of you will take it to the cemetery. Why am I here? It's a tough question. And if you don't answer it, your life will become aimless, useless, busy, without effect. Where am I going? Again, 99% of the Earth's population are moving fast every Monday morning, getting stuck in traffic, going to a place they hate, to do something they don't want to do, to get paid far less than they're worth. Hello, Peter. What's happening? Uh, we have sort of a problem here. Yeah, you apparently didn't put one of the new cover sheets on your TPS reports. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. You discover sorry. yourself, your belief system changes. That is manifested in a attitude that distinguishes you from everybody else. I, uh, I don't like my job, and uh, I don't think I'm going to go anymore. You're just not going to go? Yeah. And that's how leadership is born. Truth is original information. Belief is a result of your perception of truth. In other words, you believe what you believe to be true. And what you believe to be true may be a lie. But that's your belief, therefore it becomes the foundation of your attitude. Remember. All I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. Which means everything else is an opinion, a suggestion, or a perspective. That's why you can't trust anything else except the original information. That means don't trust any human's opinion of you. You don't need the money, man. I got us a deal. I told you. Let's get 50 all the way down the line. Look. It's on him, man. The whole bat's on a killer. Wrong bat. They don't know you. They didn't create you. And right now, most of you are trapped by some human's opinion that was spoken years ago. Some of you are still carrying your high school teacher's opinion and you are 50 years old stuck by an opinion once you discover what you were born to do you have automatically discovered what you are able to do God will not allow you to dream what you cannot produce that's why deep in you there's a quiet scream to be great and that scream is legitimate. That's why you hate your job. Hey! Where do you think you're going? Going home. Hey! You hate Monday mornings because where you go does not tap into your gift. Your job is what they pay you to do. Your work is what you were born to do. But never confuse your job with your work. There's no fulfillment in your job. It's only in your work. You are necessary. We need you. The world needs you. If the planet only knew what you were carrying, they would not ignore you. The problem is you don't know what you're carrying. Don't you ever walk with your head down again. And you go to work tomorrow. I want you to kick open the door, walk inside, and say, Good morning, everybody. 
somebody necessary just arrived. You better enjoy me while you got me, because I'm on my way somewhere else. Shout somebody!